All right, quick question. What do you get when you mix a billion-dollar AI startup, a secretive billionaire founder, and a model so powerful it made OpenAI, Google, and even NVIDIA sweat? The answer, DeepSeek. And guess what? They're about to drop their next big thing, the R2 model, and they're speeding up the release. What was supposed to launch in May might be hitting the market way sooner. So, what's the deal with R2? Why is DeepSeek in such a hurry? And could this be the moment they officially outpace the AI giants? Let's break it all down. To understand why DeepSeek's R2 is such a big deal, we need to look back at what they achieved with R1. Launched in January, the R1 model was a breakthrough in the AI world. It outperformed many Western competitors, including models from OpenAI and Google, while being trained at a fraction of the cost. For context, DeepSeek claimed R1 was developed for significantly less than what OpenAI spent on its models, which immediately turned heads in the industry. However, the launch wasn't without controversy. OpenAI accused DeepSeek of using ChatGPT to train R1, suggesting it wasn't entirely an independent development. Google, on the other hand, called DeepSeek's cost claims exaggerated. Despite these criticisms, major tech players like Microsoft and Amazon didn't hesitate to adopt R1. Microsoft integrated it into Azure AI, and Amazon added it to the AWS model catalog. This widespread adoption showed that, regardless of the debates, R1 had made a tangible impact. What made R1 stand out wasn't just its performance or cost-effectiveness, it was how DeepSeek achieved these results. Unlike competitors relying on the most advanced NVIDIA chips, DeepSeek used less powerful hardware. This demonstrated that innovative techniques and efficient architecture could rival models built with billions of dollars in resources. It was a clear signal that DeepSeek was a serious player in the AI race. Now, let's shift focus to DeepSeek's next move, the R2 model. Originally, DeepSeek planned to launch R2 in early May, but according to Reuters, they're now pushing to release it as soon as possible. While no specific date has been announced, the accelerated timeline suggests DeepSeek is eager to maintain its momentum in the AI market. So, what's new with R2? DeepSeek is targeting two major upgrades. First, they aim to significantly improve R2's coding capabilities. This could be a game-changer for developers and businesses looking to integrate AI into their workflows. Second, and perhaps even more impactful, DeepSeek is working on enabling R2 to reason in languages beyond English. This multilingual capability could open up new opportunities for global adoption, making R2 a more versatile tool for users worldwide. The timing of R2's release is also strategic. With GPT-4.5 still weeks away and GPT-5 potentially months out, DeepSeek has a window of opportunity to make another splash in the AI market. If R2 delivers on its promises, it could further solidify DeepSeek's position as a key competitor to OpenAI and Google. But there's one man who's been leading the DeepSeek story. Shifting gears, let's talk about the person behind all of this. Liang Wenfeng. If DeepSeek is the engine, Liang is the driver. This guy is a billionaire, but you wouldn't know it from his low-key demeanor. In fact, he hasn't spoken to the media since July 2024. So, who is he, and what makes him tick? Liang's background is pretty unique. He made his fortune through his quant hedge fund, High Flyer, which is one of China's most successful ones. But instead of resting on his laurels, he decided to dive into the world of AI with DeepSeek. What's interesting is how he runs the company. Unlike the stereotypical tech giant with grueling 996 work cultures, that's 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., six days a week, for those who don't know, Liang fosters a more collaborative and balanced environment. Employees typically work eight-hour days, and the culture is more like a research lab than a corporate powerhouse. And for making things even better, Liang pays his team really well. Senior data scientists at High Flyer can make up to 1.5 million yuan a year, way above the industry average. This approach has helped him attract top talent and create a team that's not only skilled, but also deeply motivated. Liang's hands-on leadership style is another key factor. 
He's known for diving into technical details and working alongside his team, which includes a lot of young Gen Z talent. It's a refreshing change from the top-down management styles you often see in tech giants. You're probably wishing you were one of his employees. Nevertheless, Liang's story isn't just about success. It's challenging the status quo and proving that innovation doesn't have to come at the cost of humanity or balance. And that philosophy is clearly reflected in DeepSeek's approach to AI. Speaking of innovation, up next, we'll dive into how DeepSeek's early moves in computing power set them apart in the AI race. Let's talk about something that doesn't always get the spotlight, but is absolutely critical to DeepSeek's success, computing power. You see, while their cost-effective techniques are impressive, none of it would be possible without the hardware to back it up. And this is where DeepSeek's parent company, High Flyer, comes in. High Flyer, Liang Wenfeng's quant hedge fund, has been investing heavily in AI research for years. One of their biggest moves was building a supercomputing cluster with 10,000 NVIDIA A100 chips. These chips are some of the most powerful available for AI training, and having access to so many of them gave DeepSeek a massive advantage. Catching them off guard, in 2022, the US banned the export of A100 chips to China. This could have been a huge setback for DeepSeek, but luckily, they already had their cluster up and running. That foresight, or maybe just good timing, saved them from what could have been a major roadblock. Still, the chip embargo remains a significant challenge. Liang himself has been vocal about this, saying, Our problem has never been funding. It's the embargo on high-end chips. And he's right. Without access to the latest hardware, DeepSeek has to rely on ingenuity and efficiency to stay competitive. It's a hurdle, but one they've managed to navigate so far. DeepSeek is well known for doing more with less. While giants like OpenAI and Google rely on massive computational power, DeepSeek focuses on efficiency, their secret, smart architecture and strategic hardware choices. Take their mixture of experts model. For R1, they used 671 billion parameters but only activated 37 billion per token, cutting costs without losing performance. With R2, they're refining mixture of experts further for even faster processing and better reasoning. And if you're curious about how mixture of experts works in action, I've got a video breaking down DeepSeek R1 and its groundbreaking architecture. Check it out. Hardware is another key area. DeepSeek is working with SMIC, China's top chip maker, to develop custom 5 nanometer AI chips for R2. This reduces reliance on restricted Western hardware like NVIDIA's H100. They've already shown compatibility with Huawei's Ascend 910C chips, and R2 will likely optimize for Chinese-made chipsets. This not only reduces dependency on Western hardware, but also aligns with China's push for tech self-reliance. On the infrastructure side, R2 will integrate into China's cloud ecosystem, including Alibaba, Tencent, and Huawei Cloud. Plus, DeepSeek is exploring on-premise deployment options, giving businesses more control over their data, a big advantage over cloud-only models like GPT-4. But DeepSeek's influence goes beyond tech. Their growing adoption by governments and tech giants is reshaping the AI landscape. Moving on, despite the challenges, DeepSeek is making serious waves. At least 13 Chinese city governments and 10 state-owned energy companies are already using DeepSeek's models. That's a big deal, because it shows how deeply integrated their technology is becoming in critical sectors. But it's not just the public sector. Tech giants like Baidu, Tencent, and Lenovo have also integrated DeepSeek into their products. For example, Baidu is using DeepSeek's models to enhance its AI capabilities, and Tencent, the company behind WeChat, which is also known as the Everything app in China, is leveraging it for its massive user base. This kind of adoption is a clear sign that DeepSeek's technology is being taken seriously by some of the biggest players in the industry. That being said, it's not all smooth sailing. Some countries like South Korea and Italy have removed DeepSeek from their app stores over privacy concerns. 
These moves highlight the challenges DeepSeek faces as it expands globally. Still, Beijing is fully embracing DeepSeek, seeing it as a symbol of China's ability to out-innovate the US. The government's support is a huge boost, but it also comes with expectations. DeepSeek isn't just a company anymore, it's part of a larger narrative about technological leadership. That's it for DeepSeek's R2 release and everything we know so far. From their cost-effective AI to their bold hardware moves, DeepSeek is showing that innovation doesn't need a massive budget, just smart strategies. What do you think? Are they the underdogs ready to lead, or is there still a long way to go? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more on AI and tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.